Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next reaction to 100 Season 4. Last episode we watched was the first episode of the season, Echoes. And so much happened so quickly. It really kicked off in a style that I just wasn't expecting for the first episode. I thought it would kind of gradually increase in pace throughout the season, but no. Straight into the action. So, so, where did we leave things? <laughs> it's been about two weeks since I actually recorded it. Obviously you won't know that because you'll be watching it whenever I release it, but it's been about two weeks. So... Rowan is now in charge of Polis. The Ice Nation tried to take over, and what they did take over, and Rowan stopped them from killing the Sky Crew and has reinstated like the 13th clan thing. So hopefully, she'll be protected. But how well that's gone for them in the past says it all, really. So I'm sure they'll still be getting attacked every now and again. Uh, so he's in charge there. They don't know a way to stop the incoming nuclear apocalypse that's coming. How do you stop that? I don't know. And I don't think I really emphasised how much that ended when we saw the woman in the desert get taken out by the, the nuclear blast thing. How much that scared me. Like, I know I've said in the past, nuclear bombs scare me and stuff. And when you watch them go off or in, like, news clips or things on YouTube and stuff and you see, like, the mushroom cloud and then the blast and stuff, genuinely, that really genuinely scares me to the, to the fucking core. And it's just something about it. Cause I think it's because once it goes off... There's nothing you can do. So that's where this kind of storyline is scaring me, but I'm excited to see where it turns out. Um, what else can we see coming up? Um, maybe some stuff with Jasper might be happening in this episode, because we saw that he was about to commit suicide, but stopped because the walls ended anyway. And so he started kind of laughing about it, but he's clearly not okay. Um, I just worry about his mindset and where that's going to go. I don't really know what this episode's going to be about. It's called Heavy Lies the Crown. So that says to me it's probably going to be focused on Rowan. At least one of the main storylines will be on his leadership. Maybe people aren't going to be happy about his decisions that he's made. But let's jump into the episode to find out what it's about. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought and subscribe to my channel for the rest of Season 4 of The 100. And please take a look at the Patreon link down below where you get the full reaction to this episode as well as the next few in advance if you're watching on YouTube. Let's jump into Season 4, Episode 2, Heavy Lies the Crown. Oh, and I kept calling it Prim Fire at the end of the last episode. I apologise, it's Prime Fire. I was watching the previously on and it reminded me to say Prime Fire. <laughs> Pretty nine days earlier. Okay, not what I expected. Do you know where I came from? Take him in the money. Uh, okay. More chipped people. I need to take quicker day. I'm on the hold. Do it. Hi. Put the knife to your own. Actually, they both look like the green screen, no. don't Okay, why are they showing us this? I mean, I didn't expect to see Ali in season four. Oh, it's just when she uh, stopped them. Is he gonna go after the Sky Crew? <laughs> but it wasn't their fault. It's Ollie's fault. Yeah. Oh, hello. Who is it? Hey, oh, well, that wasn't who I was expected to see. I thought it'd be Rowan having sex with someone. Jake's a part of who you are. Or oh, ex-husband, I was like, who's he talking about? Who's Jake? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Boba, Ilian. Do not shut up. Kuda don't do like this and don't stay at swing in Ogira, come in all. Not me. Brown gun has gone. Oh, dear. Not send I in. Tapia. As I be like you, Brana Ban Rona. I stay come tight and I call him out. Rack pulls up. Time you know gonna mean. Trisha not cool. It's a new one. Time I have a million slip down. Time Sky Crew slip down or get a come in. Kinda of figured there would be people out there that would be unhappy with Rowan's decisions. Why do you insist on ruling as Lexa did when it's not what's best for our people? At least tell me there's a reason. Forgive the intrusion, Your Highness. 
May we have a word? Tavia looking a bit like Lara Croft there. <laughs> you can wait. Let him come. With respect. You're still recovering. Oh, that is also true. He was no, pretty much dead. Or another warrior's blade. You'll lose. Lexa kicked your ass without a bullet hole in your chest. We should cancel. Today, this isn't Black Rain, but it will be soon. That's why we have to focus on riding out the radiation, finding some place safe and big enough to hold all 500 of us. This is survive rather than stop it. Us. I made a promise to Rowan. It's about saving everyone. And that's why we need to tell everyone, crowdsource it. If there's another Mount Weather out there, the grounders will know about it. Mm -hmm. Go big. Just like that. It's a whole big ass planet. Tell everybody they're gonna die. Alpha Station survived for 97 years in space through elevated radiation levels and extreme temperature fluctuations. Sound yeah. familiar? All we have to do is patch up the ship. We're standing in our viable solution. The Ark is our Ark. I get it. Okay, so. Freeze dry meat until we can grow our own food. We've got oxygen scrubbers, but how do we store enough water for 500 people? We don't. It's like how long was so it? Years. Station. Years and years and years. Why the hell would we do that? It's in the damn ice station. You just said it. Is there any reason why he's got his top off? <laughs> and the farm station has one for the crops. See if you can get us there. The plan at the moment is repair the ark, get all the supplies there, shut it down, and just ride out the end. It's weird, people might think he's happy, but he's clearly not. He wants to die. I don't like Mondays. Look at me. I'm really trying not to. <laughs> I'm fine. Or I'm having fun. Jasper. I'm not gonna kill myself. It's the point. But you know what? If you want to cheer me up while you're at farm station, get that weed we stashed behind the wall of your old bedroom. Huh? Oh, it's so annoying because, like, we wanted a happy Jasper for so long, but there isn't real happiness. It's happiness because he wants to die and he's going to die. Oh, no. We get the machine and get out of here. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to. Oh, so Guys, cute. Got a problem. We didn't come here to fight. They butchered us. Killed kids. Our friends. Our families. He's right. I don't you... like it any more than you do. Let's talk about his right. <clears throat> we need that machine. Guys. Shit. Where did you get this? King Rowan. Sky Crew and Asgara. Our allies. He sent us to get a part of the ship. A machine. I have a wrong, don't come around this get a hot for three years on yo. But I have a day, no like I, I have it. Understandable. Definitely. If we come to take this place back, there'd be a lot more of us, and you know that. Even if I had complete mobility, even if Sinclair was still alive, I don't like giving them orders. I'm, I'm not the chief, I'm not the chancellor. But here we are. For what it's worth, there's nobody I trust more to do this than you. <laughs> I supervised the redesign of Sector 5. And how many people died from Sector 5 in the culling when you sucked the air out of their rooms? <sighs> you do know he made me cut my wrist to force your mom to take the chip, right? It wasn't Jaha. He was chip too. He searched for the city of light. He brought Ellie here. He showed her how to overcome free will. Yes, those are my sins. And I have to live with them. I get being angry with Jasper, Jasper, Chaha, because he did bring it on. It's also like he he didn't know what was going on. He didn't go for the City of Light because he wanted to release uh, Ali. He went there because it was meant to be like a salvation, and in a form it was, just not what he expected. And by that point, he was chipped, and it was too late. And so, like, I don't hate Jaha for what happened for sure. Let's go. Riley. Brian, wait. I thought you were dead. Uh, one of 
the sky, Chris. We're the machine. The rest is ours. Oh dear. That's going to change the fans, isn't it? Because it's one thing to think, oh, it's all just Titan Nation and whoever. Let's get a machine and move out. Now that you know, some of their own people are alive. Oh dear. You might be able to pull off something smart, like, just like Alexa, when she threw the spear. <laughs> Use your brains rather than your brawn. This fight can still be avoided. Protecting Sky Crew gives the other clans an excuse to challenge you. Let me take care of the problem. Let me do what your mother would have done. She's got a point, though. Then please, just tell me, what did one hater offer? Chance to survive the end of the world. <laughs> Sky crew made me murder my entire family. Mm -hmm. I have no one left. I'm sorry for your loss. But the chip. Technology. It affected all of us. Every snap. Yep. You blame Sky crew for the city of light. Shouldn't you also credit us for destroying it? After everything we've suffered, why spill? More blood. I'm trying to make sure that we have more than six months, which is why these people need to get back to work. I don't force them to stop. I guess they think it's the end of the day, not, you know, the end of days. Don't you want us to survive, Jasper? No, he doesn't. To survive. I want us to live. If we don't repair that ship, none of us will have that chance. And what about free will? Well, that's why you destroyed Ali, right? Well, why don't you tell them all the truth? It's also quite funny how it kind of mirrors Joe that Jaha on the art, like they're, they're blaming him for what he did. There was times when he made decisions without telling people. And this is the same sort of thing, like they know the world's ending, but they want people to work for them without that knowledge. I think that's unfair. But also the panic might be counterproductive. I always go with the people should know the truth, but moving us tomorrow help. Now or never. Are there any other exits in here? We have a bomb. Wait a second. The end of the world is coming and you want to destroy the one thing that will keep our people alive? Yeah, I know all of our people. What about Riley? I vote that we take it home. <laughs> and blow it up. I'm with Brian. I know what it's like to be locked up and afraid. I know you want to make up for the things you've done. Believe me, we all do. But we need to think of the big picture. 25 people instead of 500. We're talking about the human race, Bellamy. We need to get this machine back to Arcadia. It's the only way. <sighs> I kind of want Monty's side. Your call, Bellamy. I think he'll want to save him. I think if it was any... Oh, they're taking it. Oh, crap. I mean, it doesn't feel good. It feels awful. But when it comes to the end of the world... You've got to be a little selfish. Oh, maybe they are doing it then. <laughs> well, I was wrong. This is the man that murdered your father. Good man, yeah. Right thing. He's not a murderer like some people. I mean, yeah, I agree with that. Let them do it because they've been s slaves. Or Monty's like, he's yeah, Monty's smart. Monty's very smart. Heavy lies the crown. Episode title. Ding ding ding. I know the burden of keeping the secret. You think it's going to destroy your people? You locked me up. You floated my father. And now you understand why. No leader starts out wanting to lie, <laughs> or imprison, or execute their people. The decisions you face just whittle you down piece by piece. So, well and good, like, being someone down below and criticizing the leader 
how do you do this decision? How can you make this decision? But then when you're in that position, it's a different story, you know? Xavier. What the hell? What are you doing, girl? I'm here to ask you one last time to back down. <laughs> to shine and prove will have its justice. Now it needs to go for it. <laughs> for our sweet baby Jesus. Good lord, that was. Oh. Long live the king. <laughs> Have they carry on, Commander? I showed him how clear. I mean, I like that she killed him, and I like she did such a like a, a way that was hidden in a way, so they couldn't blame it on her, they even though. Too. I don't know what you're talking about. You'd kind of put two and two yeah, together. I'll show you what. Yes, and the Ashdown of Singera. Tavia, <laughs> don't rub it in. Tell me, you think saving these people was worth it? I wish I could. I can't. I'm sorry, Brian. You're the one that worked. Am I missing something? He's the one that wanted to save them. And he saved them. He's upset. Is he upset because his boyfriend didn't think it was the right idea? But, well, you weren't upset when you were bugging him, so. You have time. But I am not. Sacrificing any more innocent lives. You just did. I think he only really made that decision because of what he did last season. You want us to live with your cult. As usual. Well, go tell them. Go tell Riley. I should have left them to die. Okay. How many of us will the ship sustain without a hydro generator? No more than a hundred. Every single one of us. We'll survive on this ship. It won't be easy. If we stick together, I give you my word. Well, that's just we stupid. We won't just survive. We'll thrive. Oh, bleh, I that kind of cheesy political bullshit. <laughs> Sometimes hope is more important than truth. Your dad would be so proud. Inevitably, because it's a TV show, people are going to find out, and it's going to backfire. Because people will feel lied to. People are lied to. Okay, that was my reaction to Season 4, Episode 2 of The 100, Heavy Lies the Crown. And I'm conflicted about so many different things with this episode and so many decisions that were made. Like, again, I've said it since day one of The 100. What the show does well is it gives you a choice, and there's pros and cons to both choice, so that it seems like no outwardly right or wrong decision. For example, the decision to set the bomb off at the farm station. I don't think I would run the same thing because <laughs> it, there's a difference between we just need to survive for potentially ever than we have six months and that's it. If we don't do it by six months, we're gone. And it does mean it's okay to let people die. I get that. But I'm just like, is the sake of saving a few people when they could have done that to save hundreds more. Now, the fact that it was up to Bellamy to make that decision. I knew he was gonna save the people, but when they started walking out, I was like, oh right, wow, he didn't he chose not to. But I thought because of what he did last season when he kind of gunned down so many innocent people or unarmed people and killed so many grounders, and he's trying to do this whole I'm trying to prove that I'm better. Like, because of that, I knew he was going to try and save the people. Now, and that is a normal thing to do. But when it is one of those things, like, you're saving the, mind, the few, but putting the risk of the many, that's not the kind of gods that I like. So I think I would have let them die, even if it's not a right thing to do, a, a good thing to do, an easy thing to do, to make sure that the people, hundreds and hundreds of people, could survive the ark. Like they, they said then, Raven said, that without that piece of kit, only 100 people can survive. And that's not many people. <laughs> Again, there's there's pros and cons to both. There's people that would wholeheartedly believe saving people's right because obviously the more people, the more people can help, and that is also something to think about. Now they've got more people there, they can come up with a solution maybe, like the whole crowdsourcing, although Clark made the decision not to tell them, which I'll get to. Um, tied into the whole bomb thing 
is the relationship between Brian and Miller. I just don't like it. I don't. And I think it's because all their happy part of the relationship took place before the show started. We didn't know anything about them between season one, season two. We met with Brian in season three. And he was obviously part of Pike's team, helped Pike, bugged Miller and all that. So all we've ever known of them from what we've seen is bad stuff. And they're still dealing with the fallout of the Pike situation. They're still arguing about it, as we saw. And now they're arguing about the farm stuff. And that's why I didn't fully understand why Brian was upset at the end. But maybe it was because Miller was of a different opinion to him and didn't support him in that decision. But, like, Miller has nothing... Well, it's hard to say because I'm going to say Miller's got no loyalty to you. He does, they're boyfriends. But... That meant nothing to him in season three, really. When Pike wanted to bug him, he did it without really thinking twice. So, I'm just so conflicted. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Brian just annoys me. And obviously he was upset at the end. I'm just I don't feel sorry for him. I like Miller. We've seen Miller since day one. And he's done the right thing. He's helped the Ark survive, except the crew survive. He's fought for them. He's done, put his life on the line. Great. Brian, we've not seen that much of. And so, it just annoys me right now. I'm hoping that at some point in the season that we're going to start to like him and feel for him. And I don't know if it's a part of the writers where they're like, so we know that Brian's not very likeable. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a scene where he's got no top on. <laughs> and we can see that he's got some pecs and a nice little tight stomach. People are going to love that. And maybe there's people out there that do. And like I'm quite a thirsty bitch. And normally that's the kind of thing that would win me over. But you've got to be a good person for me to care. It's like with Rowan, right? I know that Rowan's got a good body and a sexy voice. I don't overly love the character. Like, I know he's popular with the fans from what I've seen in the comments. But I don't dislike him. I'm just like... I, I guess he's trying to do the right thing. And I appreciate that. But going down the route of, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight. When you're not physically capable of doing so... Is noble, but annoying, <laughs> because it's like, you're not up to it, put someone there in your place, Echo, who is fully fit, and at this moment, beating your ass in a fight, is willing to do so, but you're not willing to, because your pride is too strong, and that's where I'm like, bah, stop it, <laughs> I feel like my reaction to this episode is going to be controversial, because it's making me like certain people, and dislike certain people, and disagree with certain choices, and that's normally where the fans start to divide, when there's a big choice like, do we let these people die, or do we take this thing back for the arc? And I've seen it in the past when there's big choices to be made, where the commenting section is like, I shouldn't have done this, you shouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have done this, you shouldn't have done this, it's not right to do this, and people have all their opinions, so I feel like maybe my opinion to this, my reaction to this episode might have been controversial. I apologise if it was. Like, Rowan, I didn't like the fact that he kept pushing himself to fight, is noble, but he wasn't ready, so a good leader, to me, a good leader should know when to step up and when to step down, when to put someone in your place, a good leader in that state of mind should have been like, look, I am not fit for this, let's put Echo in front, you know, obviously they didn't need to because Octavia took the decision out of their hands and went and killed people, now I got a comment recently, because I'm filming a bit ahead for Patreon and trying to get ahead of some spoilers, I got a comment recently on an episode of Series 3 on YouTube, where someone said that not a lot of reactors tend to like where they take Octavia's character from where they watched forward. So that's the end of season three. And obviously, I've only seen this part of season four, presumably forward. But if it's this, like, I can understand people not liking the fact that she's essentially an assassin. But I get it. I like it because she's doing what she thinks is right. And I agreed with her killing Pike because Pike was a dick. But I can see why people might not like this dark-ish route because I don't know, it's not abiding by the laws, it's taking law into her own hands and that's not always a good thing to do but in this situation like I root for her because he was someone who was going to take on the the king and she stopped that is it right? Probably not realistically the right thing to do but I understand why she did it and I don't blame her, I think if I was that badass I would have done the same thing I have a way to stop my king being killed because if my king is killed, we get killed. So, whilst I think that even with injured Rowan, he probably would have won the fight anyway. Because he's probably smarter than this other guy. I understand the need to take him out before that happens. And, yeah, good on it, man. I like the fact that she did it in a way that was... Whilst people probably know the guy crew behind it, she stabbed him in the ear, like, there, with a... Was it, like, an ice pick? 
like an ice pick and cleaned it off, cleaned the air off soil. There's no kind of proof that they did it. I thought it was a badass move. I'm excited to see where they take this route because it's not what I expected that she's doing this assassin thing, taking the law into her own hands. Maybe it's a one-off thing. I don't think it will be, but the fact that obviously she's starting to take the law into her own hands, living by her own rules, is dangerous, but I am invested. I like it. Because it's Octavia. I love Octavia. She's like my favourite character. Since Lincoln got bumped off and Indra's not to be seen in this episode. Yeah. I'm rooting for Octavia. I like that. That was cool. Mostly because if it was like the other guy was likeable, it might have been a different story. If he was like likeable, but we understood why he wanted to challenge Rowan, but we were kind of conflicted by, obviously we get it, but we like Rowan, that might be a different story. Because this guy was a bit of a dick. I'm like not cool. I think what they're trying to show was by showing us the alley thing at the beginning is that we're meant to obviously side with them. That... Okay, I think it's past enough that it's going quieter. Initially, it was like super loud. It, it put its like noise on. Straight on my house, like, oh, I could really eat some ice cream. It's really warm in the UK. I might go to get some ice cream after this. Mm, we'll see. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, I think the beginning scene was to show us that there's obviously a lot more people affected by the alley situation. Blame the Sky Crew. I get it. I still think it's a shame that they can't see that even the Sky Crew were just under Ali's rule on the most part. So, but I get that they were the ones that released her from the mansion. But I just think it's a shit. I wish people could just be like, I get it. You know, we don't like that you did it, but you were under Ali's rule. That's why people are still struggling to kind of take Jas- uh, Jahar on board because whilst they understand that he he was chipped, he went for the seat of light, but I'm also like, ugh. But talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah, the opening scene showed us that the people that want to kill the Sky Crew, so I feel like Il- Ilian, was that his name? He's maybe going to play... A bigger part in this season, maybe. And like I said to her, uh, Octavia, are you going to kill me too? She said no, but he might put her in a position where she has to. And we feel sorry for him because we saw he, his, he killed his brother, was killing his mum because of the chip, because of the Sky Crew. And if Octavia gets to the point where she has to kill him because he's standing up for that, are we going to feel sorry for him? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But it is interesting to see if people still don't like Jaha. I mean, I get it. Like, but saying you were going for the City of Light, but he didn't know what the City of Light was. He didn't know it was this like crazy AI, a virtual reality chip world, and that people were going to get killed in the process. I don't think he would have gone for it if he knew. All he knew was it was like salvation. So I understand feeling the anger at him. I get it. But I also understand the, the more mature part of my brain is saying it wasn't his fault. He didn't know. I didn't like Jaha at the start of series three, but over the course of the season, we learned how strong that chip was and that it basically took away your... It says it was about free will, but there's elements of that that were, weren't overly true because it was like, yeah, it's free will, but if you don't do free will, we're going to kill you. So, flawed logic there. But, like, when we learned what was going on, I felt sorry for him because he's made to forget his son and it was all none of it was his choice. So it's, that was that point where I kind of realised, like, I don't hate Jasper, Jaha, sorry. I can't get the names right. I don't hate Jaha. I hate what he did by releasing Ali. But once he was chipped, it was kind of, that free will part of your brain is pretty much gone. So it's frustrating that people still hold it against him, but I understand, I understand why. I guess the main other thing to talk about, really, is Clark and the plan to fix the arc so that when the apocalypse does come, the arc will sustain them to live now the choice not to tell people i think is wrong do i understand why telling people can be dangerous for sure but like i always i'm gonna compare it to the situation on the ark the ark was failing they were all gonna die but if 300 people died they could survive longer they were gonna just kill 300 people but eventually the decision was put in the hands of the people people chose to sacrifice themselves they were told the truth and they they stepped up and they helped save the ark for long enough to survive. And I think that's a similar situation here. Whilst telling people that the world is ending is scary, elements of it for a couple of days are going to be crap. But then the fear, the drive to survive is going to kick in, I believe. And people are going to step up to like, right, we need to do this, we need to find a way to survive that's secure the ark, 
all the times where like Jasper was like playing around and playing the music and people just laughing and drinking and playing football or whatever, you wouldn't have that if the the need to survive was there. If they knew the world was ending, they might have a day every now and again where they just try and let loose while they can in case it didn't work. But I think that most people will step up and do what they can to survive. So I think not telling them is wrong. Is it going to bite me in the ass? I think that maybe they might prove me wrong. Clark might be right in not telling people, but just we've seen in the past that not telling people this important information, when it eventually gets found out, leads to more chaos than telling them now. So at the minute, I just fall on the side that Clark should have told them. Now, we've only got 11 episodes left of this season, right? So no matter what happens, whether it was right or wrong, it's going to come out sooner rather than later. There's only 11 episodes to survive this apocalypse. Now, I mean, I don't know if the end of the season is the six months. I presume it will be, but the six months might last a couple of seasons, you know. Please don't tell me. I want to experience it by myself and see what happens, you know, just blind. Uh, that was a good episode. It was uh, gave me a lot to think about. A lot of choices that I wouldn't have made, that they made with the bomb, with Clark, with Rowan. So... I can see this being a con- possibly controversial episode just because there's when there's big choices, like I said before, people get quite vocal about their opinions, so we'll see. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of Season 4, Episode 2 of The 100, uh, Heavy Lies, The Crown. As always, my name is Scott. I hope you guys are well. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. If you enjoyed the video, leave some comments down below. Subscribe to my channel for the rest of Season 4, 8, but 4, 4, same thing. <laughs> and uh, take a look at the Patreon link down below. If you watch on YouTube for the full infractions to these episodes, as well as some episodes put up in advance. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you all very soon for the next episode. Bye guys, and stay safe.